Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Streak. We are jumping in again and this time we get ourselves Blue Baby, which is yet another character that can be a little bit difficult, although normally not too bad. I mean, that's a pretty good start, you've got to say. That's a pretty good start. Uh, I think I'm going to try and, and leave the, uh, the spiders in there until I take care of these geezers and hopefully I can... Uh, kill them nice and easy. But yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good start to get Petrified Poop right off the bat. I mean, no, I used to have a mod that let you start with Petrified Poop, but um, I'm no longer using that at the moment. But this is good stuff. I like this. I like this. Kind of funny that I created a fly there with the poop, literally only for it to destroy the spider that the poop created itself. Anyways, as long as we're careful here, as long as we play it sort of cautiously towards the beginning, we should be okay. Unfortunately, this is not conducive to being able to play it cautiously, because these spiders are in fucking awful positions. Anyways, how is everybody on this fine, fine day? It's been a little while since I recorded Isaac. I've, 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 I've given myself a little bit of a break from Isaac over the past sort of four or five days. I kind of backlogged a bunch of videos and then just didn't record for a little while. I tend to do that every now and again, just to sort of give myself a, a reasonably sort of healthy break from the game. Every now and again, just to sort of... Reset my sanity and, and sort of reinvigorate my enjoyment of the game. That was a really bad hit. Oh, that was another really bad hit. Wow. Um, just to kind of reinvigorate my enjoyment of the game a little bit. Um, it always seems to work. So we're back doing streaks. Does mean I might be a little worse at the game because I feel like whenever I uh, whenever I take a break, I always play much worse. So that may um, that may harm the streak. So we'll see. Can you bugger off with your little flying tails, please? Yeah, that may harm the streak, so we'll see. Um, but I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to play the best I can. I will do my best. Extra bomb there's lovely. We do get an active item off the bat, but I honestly don't know if I'm going to take it. Book of the Cosmos is kind of good, but not great. So I think I'm just going to pick it up for the uh, thingy and then and then go. Cause, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's that good. Uh, I'm going to quickly go back over here and use one of my bombs here. I don't know what the N is. I can't remember what the N is on that rock. Ah, oh, come on now. Why'd that trouble have to have such a short fuse? It was a bit rude. I think the other thing we'll go for is this here. Plenty of extra pennies. And then on top of that, um, some a, a nice little key as well. I'll do these extra rooms here just because I'm very close to being able to afford something in the shop. I might as well check it out. Little bit worried about the uh, the way this room is panning out right now, but I think I'll... Uh... Oh, dude. Really? One of those can poop out two large spiders? Why? <laughs> Why is that a thing that can happen? Is that normal? Um, anyways, as for the question of the day today, I think I want to do an Isaac-related one. It's been a little while. Um, what's something that you think's been lacking in the modding community recently? What's, what's, what's sort of a type of mod that you've been really waiting on? I mean, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it'd be just interesting to know. But yeah, it's kind of a bit of an, bit of an annoyance when our first uh, first item room's a bit of a bust. I mean, it is what it is, but... We'll carry on and see if we can get something going on. One penny off an item. We can actually get pay to play now, so we'll grab pay to play. Um, Gacha Go's kind of interesting. Uh, you can get some decent stuff from Gacha Go. I mean, honestly... It's really not that bad pricing-wise at all either, so it, it does tempt me into doing it. And we do have Ferryman here, which is a, is a kind of high cost for Ferryman this early. But I think on a run where we've got nothing so far... I've, I've sort of said before how I think the Ferryman's a little bit overpowered. But I think when you're early days like this, it's actually not going to be too easy. Um, and I don't actually know if it scales with what floor you're on to what types of enemies you get. It might not. Take care of the guys that shoot first. Uh, so we, we might have trouble here. We might have trouble. I don't know if I'll be able to get the item. But as long as I can get one or two of the uh, the ghosts saved without losing too much HP, I'll be pretty happy because that'll give us some uh, some good stuff, as you can see here already. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm picking up red hearts, basically the poop will turn into, um, it'll turn into a different item after we collect so much HP and it'll uh, drop black poops instead. It's pretty cool. And take him out first. There you go, one second. Just had to drop a very big sneeze there. Mate, this is insane. 
Why on earth am I getting two, two giant spiders from a single... That, that's, that's just horrible. Two giant spiders from a single one of those is uh, egregious. <laughs> calm down, game. Calm down. That's two so far. Not bad. Ah, oh, this 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 one's dead. Yep, I I knew it. I could just tell from the way the room was laid out. There was no way I was killing these burnies before they got to me. So unfortunately, we're not getting the angel item, but we'll see if we can get one more uh, one more little bit of something. That's a shame. You watch this room be the easiest one ever now. No, it's not. <laughs> not even close to being the easiest one ever. It did give us another one of these goddamn dudes, though, that's got a ton of spiders in him. Luckily, this time, he didn't have too many in him. But yeah, unfortunately, we got close, but no cigar this time. Um, did not get all of them. But consumable-wise, I think we did pretty well. I'll pop this pill as well. Why not? Unfortunately, it's a fucking tears down. God damn it, game. This is why I don't take pills. <laughs> People are like, oh, it's... It's too wee wee baby. Take the pill. Take no. Fuck you. <laughs> Pills are gross. I hate them. Put us in a much much worse spot. Anyways, we will carry on and we will hope that our boss. I'm I'm really hoping for Binky. Binky is is currently Binky or um or Squeezy are my two sort of solid bets right now. Hagalaz. Ah, really? Just Hagalaz. Bit of a waste of a bomb there. If I'd have known, I would not have blown that up. Unfortunately, with our tears down, this is not a particularly nice boss for us with the limited number of bombs we have as well. Unfortunately, this guy spawns a lot of extra stuff. Luckily, we can get into destroy his own stuff, so it's not all bad. But I just want to say, there's a, a pretty much zero chance I don't get hit by this guy because he's just going to take too long to goddamn kill. And there's just far too many fucking spiders, man. Calm down. How do you not destroy that there? Far too many goddamn spiders, man. Oh, dude, how are you not destroying these things when you're jumping on them, please? We'll get there eventually. We'll get there eventually. Come on, just please give me Squeezy. You know you want to. You know you want to. I'd also accept Pentagram. That's actually a plus soul heart, so I'm not particularly asked. Oh, also, okay. Pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Okay, let's keep going down. Don't feel uber confident in this run as of right now, but I don't know, pay, uh, pay to play is a pretty good starting item, I'd say, and our health is now in a decent spot. What's the difference between these different jars, the red one versus the gray one? They both seem to just stun the enemy. I don't really know what the difference is. I can't even quite tell. Oh, another luck penny as well, okay. Luck is in a great spot. Oh, that was such a bad hit. Are you kidding me? No way. That was such a bad hit. I just took a full um, a full heart of damage from that champion. I didn't think he was going to fire then. and Obviously, he unfortunately did. And it kind of got me all caught up in it. Bullshit. God damn it. Oh, God. I've been, uh, been planning a holiday over the past few days. Me and uh, my girlfriend have booked to um, to go to Venice um, for a 10-year anniversary that is coming up in March. Uh, so I've just been kind of like planning out that holiday and what we're going to do. Because we're going to obviously, if it's our anniversary, we want to try and go to some nice restaurants and all that sort of stuff. We've got like a hotel that's got like a jacuzzi and stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so that's coming up pretty soon. I'm sort of like planning around that and seeing uh, exactly how that's going to go down. I, cause I kind of need to... Uh, to st I'm pretty bad at planning. I'm, I'm, I'm In our relationship, I am uh, th the one that is really, really bad at, at prepping and planning things. But I need to sort of pull my thumb out and actually try <laughs> as hard as I can to uh, to do some stuff ahead of time. But I'm really not liking this bit of combat we've got going on right, right now, by the way. All of these little dudes is just, it's just gross. And to stop it with those tiny little wee baby little spiders. It's, it's harshing my mellow. Luckily, we got a half soul heart back from uh, that champion. My god. Unfortunately, our damage right now just sucks a big, big dirty bum. Like, it's real bad. Dude, 
th those guys need to be turned down. They should not be spawning that many spiders. <laughs> Before, it used to be like one. <laughs> Cheeky is what I'd say. Cheeky. Okay. Gotta be careful with these dudes, because if I kill them too quickly, the, the little flies will spawn and come attack me. I'm really, really looking for a, a damage up. Unfortunately, this is so far our, our, our first run of the streak where we actually have some struggle bossing going on. And it's not a lot, mind you. It's not a lot right now. Like, our struggle is not too, is not too crazy yet. But if, it, if this carries on for another few floors of no damage ups, then we could really be in a bad situation. So we're really hoping the item room here... If it's not a damage up, give me, like, bugger tears or something. Unfortunately, that chest is going to disappear before we get to it. I think we've got that curse. Curse of famine, yeah. Although it's not disappearing yet, so maybe there's some sort of trick with this thing. We'll see. I'll try and bomb through to it, I guess. I'll probably bomb through to both of these, to be honest. I think it's worth it. Really? Just a fucking pill? I mean, I've already taken a tears down, so worst it could be is a bad trip. Probably should have left that guy around. I'm drowsy. It's good to know. Ah, bugger you, game. Bugger you. Really, really hoping for something special there. Anyhow, uh, secret room looks to be just below here. Uh, although, with my single bomb at the moment, I'm not quite sure I want to gamble on that. More spiders. It's a very spider-heavy day today. Very spider-heavy day indeed. We can deal, we can deal. It's fine. I will check out the shop, obviously. We've got plenty of money to work with. Um, unfortunately, while a pretty... That, that didn't fucking hit me. Step the fuck off, that didn't hit me. It was nowhere near that thing. Unfortunately, yeah, Barata's not actually that good. Although, I might buy it just because... Oh, a turtle heart's lovely there, and a half thingy hat. I might buy it just so I can blow it up every floor and get some extra consumables. I don't think that's a bad idea. It also makes our character look amazing, so can't complain about that, really. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, I don't think I'll be trading away any soul hearts to those machines, Realistically, unless I get some sort of form of invincibility that I can use to not have to trade away actual HP, then I think it's otherwise unlikely. Wow, okay, so item-wise, things are not looking good. Um, didn't expect to be fighting enemies here. Yeah, item-wise, things are not looking good. Angry Fly does next to nothing for us. Um, so that's not great. There's a lot of poop around, though, which is kind of nice. Getting plenty of extra money and such. Yeah, so... Not ideal right now, I would say. Not ideal. Uh, secret room, as I said, I suspect to be in this crevice here. Let me just quickly... I suspect to be right here. There you go. Single penny out of that as well. There's some extra pennies. Extra money's always good, and we'll go and fight our boss. But yeah, I, I'm, we're kind of hoping for a good uh, thingy here. I'm, I'm going to go Angel Deal, even though the Devil Deals are cheaper as this guy. I think I'm still going to go Angel Deal, just because right now, as I'm seeing it, I don't want to trade away HP. I'm taking damage that I shouldn't be taking and stuff. Angry Fly is luckily not too bad on this fight. The only thing is, as you just saw there, the Angry Fly can target the wrong enemies sometimes. I, I do have bombs to use if I want to use them, but I'd, I'd rather not. Yeah, Angry Fly luckily has like a just the right hitbox to be able to hit this guy on occasion. Go slam into the wall, you. Good. That weren't too bad. And we did get a damage up. Lovely. And as I said, we can bomb this for potential prizes. Nothing crazy good here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna skip on Devil Deal for now and go Angel Deal just for the safety. And we'll continue down to the next floor. I'm feeling a little better now that I've got at least one damage up. One second, I have a message to attend to. Um, okay, no worries. Right, uh, yeah, I gotta say, so... We have at least one damage up now, which makes me feel a lot better. Still not particularly confident, because I still would, would like to have my tears back. 
Angry fly, it'll, it'll do some business. I just wish he circled a little bit closer. Because really, he can only do damage in transition between two enemies. He has a pretty hard time doing damage to other enemies nearby. Like, this is a pretty good smattering of enemies there to be able to do some damage. Extra HP there is obviously lovely. Quickly check in here. Didn't think there'd be anything. I think we're uh, honestly pretty close to our uh, active item changing over, which does make Petrified Poop the Trinket a lot worse because it no longer drops stuff. But being able to get a Black Poop every room to do some stunning and some damage is actually not bad. So I think it's worth the loss in, in revenue. See, the Angry Fly is doing some good work right there. Depends what enemy it's circling around, really, to how good it ends up being. We've got Burger Bombs there, which I don't think is that bad. I think I'll take Burger Bombs. My Reflection, not a particularly good item. Unfortunately, it does come with a Tears Down as well, but it's, it's not a bad item either. I'm glad it's quality 2 now rather than... I think it was quality 0 before, which I found bizarre. It's literally just a massive range increase <laughs> with some cool synergies. I don't think it's bad. I will not be opening that because they can be pretty unreliable. I would like to destroy the red flies first here, but I'm not going to spend too much time. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Lovely stuff. I'm going to just do my boss straight away here. Uh, that is a red heart, so there's no point in grabbing that. Ooh, we do have Red Maw here, which is one of the hardest versions in such a small room as well is kind of tricky. But Angry Fly is in the radius of being able to do some damage here, which is nice. I think I found a reasonably okay spot to sit here, actually, where he's having trouble hitting me, which is kind of nice. Ah, unfortunate. Did get hit once there. But not too bad, and we did get our fire rate back. Lovely stuff. Great, great, great. And we also got the Page of Virtue, grants a guaranteed Wisp. It's not great, it's not great, but it, it's also not awful. Um, I don't mind it. I will go and do some of these extra rooms on the streak. I want to be taking our time. I, by the way, I just got to say, I love how our character looks right now. <laughs> With the Beretta on our head, um, as well as this uh, these wispy eyes. I'm liking this. Okay, so I might actually trade out my... Uh, I might actually trade out my thingy here. As you can see, though, one cool thing about the Page of Virtue is it gives us a random wisp each time, and it can be destroyed and it'll create a new one. Golden Trinket Plus is doing its thing again. Might got a bad hit. But it doesn't mean we can use it for contact damage on occasion if we want to. Not have to worry too much. What we got going on here, then? Um, well, obviously we want Satanic Bible. I mean, that's just clear as, clear as goddamn dear, that... Uh, shows a fortune, chance of giving 2020, always gives 2020 when you have Bookworm. So basically, this will be guaranteed 2020 every time I use it, which is kind of interesting. Um, I think we just want to go and grab that right now. No, we don't, we don't need any of those. Okay. Let's just take this because it's fucking amazing and leave. Uh, the poop, I am sorry, you. You have been tossed asunder because we have found something much better. I mean, Bookworm is great in itself. But having now um, a regenerable form of HP is obviously amazing. And also, devil deals on the boss items when they cost a cheaper amount is, is good, I think, overall. You're going to give me hot bombs? Would you like to step into a position where I can actually hurt you? There you go. No hot bombs, but we did get a ton of actual bombs because of good old burger bombs. I kind of picked up burger bombs um, on a bit of a gamble of like, well, it'll help us find secret rooms. That's kind of my, my, my logic behind it. Being able to have a, a nice flow of bombs means, yeah, being able to constantly... I'll take that, definitely. Being able to constantly utilize uh, secret rooms, which I think on uh, streaking runs is always going to be useful. I could even have a little gamble at second secret room, which I'm not entirely sure whether it is right now, but I've got a I've got a vague idea. I have a vague idea. It could be here. Nah. And it could be the last room down there. Almost walking to the spikes there. 
Unfortunately, I don't exactly know. Let's let's try here. Okay, there you go. Oh, what a room, baby. Holy shit. Okay, so this room's feeling a lot better now. A lot more safe. I'll even take a pill. Pretty fly, lovely. Unfortunate, didn't want to do that, but there you go. We'll bomb this bad boy again. See what I mean? It's like, it's not a lot, but it's able to get something for our bombs. And when we've got burger bombs, it's kind of like more valuable because we're not as reliant on like getting bomb drops because we're always getting double. So we can kind of waste our bombs for a little bit of extra value there. I'm surprised I didn't get hit in there. What we're really looking for is getting like a, a red key wisp, which can randomly open red rooms, stuff like that. But we'll pop this book straight away. I do want to get the devil deal in our boss room. I wouldn't mind that at all. But yeah, we're looking for like a really good wisp that could do some interesting stuff for us. Red key being the, the, the like optimal wisp. Because like I said, that can generate us red rooms randomly. It's kind of like having crystal key. It's all similar to at least. So it's pretty good. What's going on here? Okay, I see. Not too bad. I don't know why you got slow in there, but I'll take it. Oh, hello. As you can see at the minute, we've got a ton of keys, but nothing to really do with them. Like, once you get pay to play out, keys really don't have much value apart from potentially key beggars, I guess. But even key beggars aren't that useful. We'll, of course, grab that half soul heart, because why not? I'm fairly sure I know where Secret Room is on this floor. Don't want to be too hasty with it. I think it's right here. It's not? Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. We will bomb this. A little bit of extra damage is lovely. I'll bomb that battery just so I can do it after this room. That pulls up some max HP. Don't you dare, thank you. Gotta try and kill these guys before they spawn the mini mushrooms, because otherwise an army starts and you've got to wait forever for them to all fall to the ground and actually become hittable. I mean, they're easy to kill, obviously, but still. Right, some extra bombs there, lovely, and we've got obviously another battery charge here that we can pop straight away. Not that we uh, like actually need to, but why not? I'm not going to use that consuming thing because I just don't need to. Lovely. Uh, we got a D100 there, which interesting. Bravery is very good. Happy with that. Extra bombs, lovely. I don't know where that holy light came from, but I'm guessing it was my wisp. I'm just going to bomb you and see what card we get. The sun. There you go. Pretty good card. Pretty good card, I'd say. Probably going to save that for a little later on in the run, though. Not exactly necessary right now. Oh, the money just keeps rolling in, baby. Summon a porky ally. Ah, the allies I'm always not a fan of. Um, and here we don't really have much that we want, unfortunately. The shop was a bit of a bust there. The virus, it's a speed up, I guess. Unfortunately, our item room items really haven't been that solid thus far. We've not really got anything groundbreaking. But this run's still pretty good. We've got some good stuff going. I mean, mainly it's good because we've got, like, good defense. Okay, yeah, we've definitely got something insane going on with our Wisp here, because it's clearly firing off some, uh... I think it's a Buddy in a Box Wisp, you know? I think, basically, a Buddy in a Box Wisp just does what Buddy in a Box does, and, like, gives you random tier effects. I think that's what's going on here. Wait, no. It can't be Buddy in a Box. Buddy in a Box isn't an active item. Maybe it's, um... I don't know. I'm unsure. I'd like to keep it for as long as possible, though, if I can. Seen everything we need to see on this floor, I think. The stain. Yeah, holy light shots. Very good stuff. We get ourselves Ghost Baby. Honestly, not great, but I... Do you know? No, I'm not going to take it. Just because I think that keeps our angel deal alive. And realistically, what is Ghost Baby on top of this run? Like, what does Ghost Baby realistically do for us? <gasps> Holy shit. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm okay to not take Ghost Baby and do that. Yeah, basically, I'm, if like that would corrupt my, my angel deal chance. And I still want to get angel deals if I can. So there's no point in taking that. Unless it's like a really good devil deal. Oh, Terra, fuck yeah. Very lucky to get Terra out of that. It's like a super low chance. Ow. 
Like, it has- the stone chests have all stone-themed items in them, but Terra is, like, an exceedingly rare one, because obviously, normally just a planetarium item, so... Still, that's pretty good. Um, I think I'm still gonna keep my sun card on me for now. I don't think I'm gonna bother using it, um, until the womb. I just think it makes more sense. Brainworm, of course, doing some real good for us here. Do get an instant charge there, lovely. Ah, oh, we'll just walk right into that guy. Yes, I like the brain worm right now. And yeah, being able to destroy rocks easily, lovely. I need to remember that I can um, shoot my way into secret rooms now as well. So burger bombs has become somewhat obsolete, I have to say. Burger bombs isn't quite all that it used to be for us. There you go. My god, the money's rolling in. We did get corpse flower here. Corpse flower seems really common. I seem to get corpse flower a lot. Not quite sure why, but I don't mind it. Am I, uh, am my wisp shots also being affected by, uh, brain worm? I can't quite tell if they're just spreading out all over the goddamn place or if it's actually affecting them, really. We can also shoot through doors as well, I always forget that. So on the womb floor we can we can make a make short work of it. We'll check this out, just because why not? It's a reroll room, I don't think we're uh, we're in the market for a reroll now, especially now we've got Terra. I, I might have considered it before Terra, to be honest. Like, the the run's good. I mean, we got, like, bravery and stuff in there. And the, the space bar we've got. But the rest of it isn't amazing. But now now we've got Terra, I think uh, our damage is in a pretty good spot and stuff. So we no longer need to worry. Have we found our shop yet? No, we haven't. We've got plenty of money to work with, so we'll look for our shop. No! My wisp! My beautiful wisp! You are doing such a good job. Now I've got Pac-Man Wisp by the looks of it. Le leaving little Pac-Man pellets. I mean, I'll grab the bombs regardless, right? There's no point not grabbing them. Now, Terra is a bit weird as well. I, I only found this out like a few months back or, or so. That Terra actually each shot is a random size. But that's because um, each shot actually does varying damage. It's not it's not the same damage per shot for uh, Terra. Even if your damage is 8.63, it doesn't mean every shot you fire will deal 8.63 damage. It'll vary. Slightly above and below that amount. Which is kind of interesting. I don't know if it's on like a linear scale of, of randomizing or if it is completely random. I don't know if it goes like down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, up, up. Or if it just completely randomly chooses. Sometimes you'd get all lower damage shots and then no upper damage shots. Alright, what was what floor are we on here? Dank depth's on. We can do this straight away. Honestly, pop this again. Just might as well make the health while we're there. So we'll get Pony here, right? I don't remember. And it'll cost us as well. We did get Pony here, which is a bit annoying, but we did get our Angel deal. And honestly, these are two very, very, very good things. But obviously, Holy Mantle really is the uh, the clear choice here. Um, maybe, maybe it's worth taking Pony at this stage. I mean, the active item is like guaranteed value, but we've not really got many Devil Deal like bosses left. It would lock us into devil deals, though. I think I am going to take it, you know. I think the flight uh, plus the slight extra speed bonus is, is pretty worthwhile. I mean, also, you've got the actual active effect of the Black Pony as well, which I don't think is bad. Um, it's definitely not amazing, but I think it's not, not, a bad, uh, not a bad item to take. I mean, like I said, Satanic Bible is really good. I'd say probably if I didn't get Holy Mantle, I probably would have kept the Satanic Bible. But Holy Mantle obviously just puts us in such a strong position defensively that we don't really need to worry all that much anymore about about health. Like, we're not going to be losing a lot of HP. We're really not going to be losing a lot of HP at all, so... We can chill a bit more on that front. Now, unfortunately, our fire rate is still lacking. I'd very much like uh, to improve our fire rate. We'll see. Um, we've got Holy Mantles. This makes sense. And I guess I'll buy this, because why not? Right, let's go. Good stuff. Also, with the pony, you can do cool stuff like this. 
<laughs> Love it, just for speeding up traversal of rooms. Goodbye, my satanic bible. I have loved you, and I have lost you. I think it makes sense. Yeah, be better layouts in these rooms. Plus, um... Yeah, better layouts in these rooms plus Holy Mantle is like a great combination. Wow, okay, that was crazy. And we'll get two pair floor as well, right? I always forget that, um... But it makes secret room layouts better. It's always part of it that I forget. Not secret room. Cash room layouts better. Yeah, it's just part part of the item that I forget exists, and it's it's pretty valuable. It does it does quite a lot for you. I've got an itchy eye for some reason. Oh my god. Luckily I was able to itch it while still killing the enemy. And you can see we've got good use out of our active there as well. I think any any time there's a little line of enemies, it's especially weaker enemies, it's gonna be a way to like insta kill them. Oh, but yeah, I was saying earlier about my holiday to uh, to Venice. I've not actually been before. My girlfriend has been with work a few times, but it's always been like sort of just business. She's just gone there for work and not really gotten time to actually like explore and enjoy the place. Do you want to open up? There you go. Um, so this time we're obviously actually going on a proper holiday. We're only going for like five days. It's not a crazy long holiday or anything. I'm quite excited for it. And then later in the year, we're going to Greece again. I don't know if anyone was watching back when I was uh, back when I went to Greece like was it not last year, year before? Oh my god, that place is amazing. I'm so excited. Bit of extra luck, lovely. We do want to keep some money, of course, because um, we need it for keys and stuff. Bed bug, it's fine. Lovely stuff. Oh, that was a weird place for you to pop out. Wasn't expecting that. I've got secret room here on these walls to eat. Yes, we do. Activates a random energy card effect. Dragon energy. A little dude is firing piercing shots on occasion. Item room. Eh, 120 volts fine. Actually, 120 volt might work pretty well with our active item. We dash through enemies and then shock them on the way through. Seems useful, right? But yeah, Grease is, uh, like one of the best places I've ever been. <laughs> like, Greek food is just unbelievably good. And, like, we went to, like, a place that was, like, sort of halfway between touristy and, uh, and, like, normal Greece. Like, uh, we, we went to, like, a little town just outside, of, I think it was Malia. Just outside of Malia. Um, and it was really nice. Like, most, most of the servers and, and, like, people working there spoke English well enough to be able to converse with you and it make it easy to, like, order and all that sort of stuff. And easy to just like ask people questions uh, but at the same time it was like pretty quiet and like mainly like sort of all the clientele and stuff which was perfect for me because it meant I, when I go on holiday I'm not looking to like be adventurous and do a bunch of things I don't mind doing that on a day or two but I'm looking to eat shitty food like not shitty but like bad for you food and relax and not engage with people that that is my ideal holiday so that place was so perfect for me, because that's exactly what I did. And I loved it. Gotta remember I no longer need my bombs for um, for anything other than dealing damage, so I might as well toss them out on occasion see if I can get some hits. Unfortunately, so far, I've bombed in every which long, wrong location that I can. It's slightly annoying. My preemptive bombs have been pretty bad. Ugh, dude, it's just not even worth it. I'm missing every single one. Almost got him. Yeah. We'll check out the devil deal here. Ooh, the snake eyes. The snake eyes. Snake eyes are pretty good. I think I'm going to take um, Gilmora. Just because it's fire rate, which we need, and also stunning shots. I'm, I'm not really interested about the effect about, like, um, the way it makes it so that you, uh, can redo rooms, but whatever. Pretty fly. Pretty. Nice. Pretty. 
Devil Deal there. Obviously, it's the head of Krampus. Why wouldn't it be? Right, Sun card here. Some of the basic rooms I'll, I'll complete, but a lot of them I'm just going to pass on through because I don't need this bullshit. I know where I'm going. The beauty of mapping, baby. The beauty of mapping. That didn't really work. But you saw 120 volt kind of pop off there. Did a little bit of extra damage. I always forget how this guy works with the little food eating thing that he does. I think it just heals him and sometimes powers him up. I, I, I can't keep track. Either way, it's done. Plus damage is lovely. We'll take that pill because it's random. Eh. Right, unfortunately no sun card this floor. Bit of a shame. The good thing is we can do the same thing again with uh, passing through these rooms, so... Dead ends aren't anywhere near as much of a worry for us as they normally are. Double cash room in the same places is nice. I'm liking this. More black hearts. Lovely. Curved horn. What's better here? Brainworm or curved horn? I don't actually... This, this is a tricky one. I think curved horn just because my damage is feeling a little lacking right now. Um, Not crazy much. Not, not crazy amount. But brainworm obviously being herming is pretty goddamn good. Mate, tears down. Bugger off. Well, I, th I think I'm going to just take that. Right, come on. Give me, take me the right way. God damn it, game. Take me the right way. Looks like we're going the right way now. I will complete this room so that I can get in that room there. Don't respawn, you dick. We do have a rune in there. Algis, I'll take it. Pretty useful. Ooh. Eternal Heart and a Holy Mantle. Pretty strong card. I like. Yeah, no thanks on that room. We do have to complete this room there. If you can't hit me. Because I can't be touched by creep. Lovely. But yeah, if, you, if you're ever looking for a place to go to just like have a relaxed time with like great food and, and like nice people, Greece is just ugh, amazing. Like the great thing is as well, especially where we stayed, and I reckon it's that it's like this most places. That they only have about like maybe like 10, or 10, 10 to 20 different recipes that they actually offer. Most places you go are going to offer the same 10 to 20 different things. But they just do it so goddamn well. They're just so, it, it just, it's all amazing. Take that with our luck. Honestly, Void Bombs is not bad either. Um, oh, actually, I've got an Algis. Let's uh, pop out Algis and, and try and play this guy a little bit. Did manage to get him to pay out in the end. Pretty fly. Lost a little bit of HP there that we shouldn't have lost really, but overall I'm okay with that. Right, up we go. Yeah, I think the items we just got there are all pretty goddamn good for us. Again, I'm just going to blast through this floor like... Once, you, once you've got your shit, you just don't need to continue with the rooms, really. Okay, I'm going to try and kill this middle guy. Stop him from doing whatever he's doing. Do we have piercing? Okay, I think that booster thing that I got at the end there gives us piercing, but we deal less damage overall, but more damage the more enemies we pierce, which is pretty good with, uh, with my reflection, actually. Pretty good stuff. Don't mind that at all. Ooh, hello. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Is 
Last rags, I guess I'll take. My god. Chess keeps paying out. Okay, there you go. Finally, finally ended. There we go. Here's the boss. Yeah, another reason Terra is one of my favorite items. I just to cheese things so much. I lost my uh, holy mantle literally straight away there, so let's try to be safe. Luckily, we have one of these one of these thingy hearts now, so. These hearts are really strong. I actually have considered turning the mod off that has these hearts, because they're, they're incredibly strong. And that their replacement chance for Eternal Heart seems pretty pretty decent. It's not super low. Oh, try and get 120 volt in there where we can. Good stuff. Okay. We are on to the boss. Pretty quick run as well so far. Guillotine, we all know I hate it. I don't know why my chests are all disappearing when I open them. We all know I hate it, but I'm going to take it anyways. We've got so little of the run left, why not? I don't think, yeah, we can't shoot through the doors on this floor. We made the right call there. you all know I'd be cheesing it if I had the chance. Toggle a melee hammer strike on and off. When equipped, receive a damage multiplier. Getting hit teleports you to the starting room. That's pretty cool. Oh, uh, it's, it's, um... That's a really, really cool idea, you know. Getting over it with Bennett Foddy idea. You get the hammer, but you, if you if you get hit, back to the start you go. I actually ended up having a, a bit of turmoil with that item in one of my uh, deleted runs, but I didn't know that that's what was causing me to teleport back every time, and it was mighty confusing. Oh, really? Okay, Holy Mantle saved me there. Lovely. Okay. Didn't have to endure through that for too long. Might as well grab these. I could get some soul hearts or trinkets from there, but I really don't think we have any need right now. If I need to, I'll come back. Yes, I love my reflection. Such a good item. People hate on it. Because they don't understand it. Okay, these bombs are going to miss a lot, but we've got so many of them that I just don't care. We don't actually need to hit with the explosion anyways. The ring will do good damage regardless. And the ring's pretty big, it'll hit. Beautiful stuff. What win streak are we on now? Like a 15 is this? 16, something like that? Beautiful stuff though, another, another win on the docket. Let's have a little look-see, what win streak are we on now? Yeah, 15, awesome. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.